Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, on the Minecraft Survival Manual. This is your Minecraft Survival Guide to tell you exactly how to start off in your Minecraft 114 world. I'm playing it in hard mode with Frilly off. He is doing the same video, but in his own special way. It will be released at the same time, so don't you go and miss it. Today is actually a really cool one today. I really quite like this one today. We are going to do... A little bit of fishing but the first thing we've got to do is actually craft a fishing rod if i come into my crafting table and go into tools which is second tab flick across you'll see that is the fishing rod recipe three sticks across and two bits of string so let's take that thank you very much and what we're going to do is we're going to just show you what it's like to do a little bit of fishing now to do fishing you don't actually need an awful lot of water in fact this little puddle of water here is going to be absolutely plenty and what you do is you hold your right mouse button and you cast your bobber get your um, little crosshair on that bobber there and when you see it go down strike it by hitting the mouse button again like that and what happens is you get often a fish but sometimes you get other things as well so you can see four casts and four pieces of raw cod. Now that's not very exciting. Raw cod's nice and all that, but what we want is something that gives us a little bit more exciting out of our fish farm. And you can do this through an automatic AFK, away from keyboard, fish farm. We're gonna set one of these up just by our base here. In fact, we're gonna do it on this side, right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a platform. We're going to extend this little bit of platform here out uh, with some more of the um, slabs. And then once we've done that, I'll be back. So I have built this platform out. And for some reason, I've not finished off that fence. If I've got a fence, I should have a couple left. Yes. So if I pop that there and that there, that's great. So I've created a bit of an underneath area here and the reason for that is that we're going to be building an underneath system but on top you can see we've got a hole that is you know just a little tiny hole and what I'm going to do is have I got yes I do I'm going to put a double chest right there now I need to make some redstone components so I'm going to come in here and we need to make a few things now one of the things that we need to make is a hopper. Now a hopper is a device that will catch items that have fallen onto the top of it and basically squirt them wherever you want. They could squirt them down, it can squirt them across, it could even squirt them into things like chests. And we're looking at having probably five or six hoppers. I reckon five is enough. I'll have those, thank you very much. And now what we also want to make is a note block. And what do I need? I need some wood. So where's my wood? If I take that wood out, come and get my note block. There it is. Oh, I've not picked up the redstone dust either. Foolish man. So you've seen what the recipe is. Let's come all the way around here. And we just need one single note block. We also need to design a weighted pressure plate, which is a pressure plate made out of iron. It's just two pieces of iron like that need one of those and we also need an iron trap door which is four pieces of iron like that now it's time to go and try and construct this thing in the back of this we are going to put our first hopper I've realized I've put this chest one block too high so I'm going to take this out and I'm going to get my chest in right here. One and two. I can still open it absolutely fine, but now I can also stand on it. I'm going to get my hopper that I've made, the first one. I'm going to shift or crouch and pop that hopper into there. Very simple. And then I just want to come up and collect this thing under here. And what we're also going to do is we're going to create a tower of um, chests. So there's a tower of chests. And then using the hoppers, 
I can again shift click, push in those hoppers into those chests. Now what happened is all four of these chests then become collection vessels. If I come up and around here, we now just need to build up this entire system. Now there's just a few little tricks that we're going to be using to build this system. This is Doc M's design. This is not my design. Shift click a post on top of that hopper and then get yourself a bucket of water and pop a bucket of water to waterlog that post. That will then only push water into that hole. That's why we've got a hole at the back of it. Because there's a hole, it preferentially flows in that direction and not in the other directions. We then need to get the note block that we made and pop the note block at the back like that. Then you want to get a block on top of the note block. And what that block on top of the note block will do will stop the note block from making too much noise. You need to shift click and that block will go on top of that. Then get yourself your iron trap door, pop the iron trap door going into that block like that and get your pressure plate and pop the pressure plate on top of the post like that. That is the completed AFK fish farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and demonstrate this now. So to make this work, stand so as you're pointing towards the pressure plate and cast again using the right mouse button onto that pressure plate. Now it will repeat and repeat and repeat, but then if you move your mouse so as it points at the note block, it will then stay in the water. And that's as a result of just the positioning of the bobber in the water. Now what's going to happen is eventually that water is going to allow you to catch something. And that will automatically, because you've got your finger pressed on the button, retract your bobber, i.e. it will strike. You'll catch whatever it is that's in that water, like it did just then. And that thing will be captured by the hopper and it will squirt it into the collection system down below. You then automatically recast and it keeps going and going and going. Now, sometimes with these things you catch different types of fish. Sometimes with these things you can catch more interesting stuff. And hopefully, with a bit of a session here, we'll catch a little bit more interesting things. Now, you'll notice that my fishing rod's life is going down. That little green line is getting shorter and shorter every time I catch something. And that, unfortunately, is just the way it is. But if we can get some enchantments on this, that will help us AFK for much longer. So I've made myself another couple of fishing rods with the sticks and string the same way as we did before. And I'm going to fish for three fishing rods worth of fishing. And we're going to see what we don't actually get from our fishing exploits. And at the end of it, we'll take a look and see what's in the chest. So let's crack on. three standard unenchanted fishing rods later and we have run out but we've also gained ourselves a number of experience levels because you can see fishing gives you xp i've gone up to level 42 which is quite a significant jump from the level i think i was in the late teens when i started so what have we got now i'm not expecting any of these chests to have anything in it but this this one has actually that's a pretty good haul so we've managed to get Around about half a stack of cod, half a stack of salmon, eight bones, three w empty water bottles. We've got an enchant. Ah, with lure. Brilliant. We've got an enchanted fishing rod with lure. It's almost dead, but it's an enchanted fishing rod with lure. 13 puffer fish, a luck of the C3 enchanted book. Superb. A couple of saddles, some trip eye hooks, a bowl, two nautilus shells. They're quite interesting. We'll talk about those in a later episode. Some name tags. A feather fallen enchanted book and a sharpness three enchanted book. Now for three standard uh, fishing rods, that's not too bad. Now that fishing farm is going to need some kind of roof over the top of it because if you AFK for more than three nights and haven't slept, you're going to get phantoms swooping down from the skies to eat your face. And believe me, they will eat your face. So I need to put some kind of cover over the top of that. But altogether, that works quite well. I'm quite pleased. 
If you have enjoyed that video, go and see what Frilioth makes of a fishing farm. I'd be very interested to see what he does. And also, if you've not done it already, make sure you go and slap the like and subscribe buttons for both channels. It'd be great to see you in our sub clubs, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.